Hi everybody, welcome back to Bring Life Indoors. It's Moira here. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you are having a beautiful day. Before I go ahead with today's video, I firstly want to say thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your comments. All that means a lot to me. And to new subscribers, welcome. My name is Moira. And if you haven't already noticed, I love plants. <laughs> and many other things, but I love plants. But anyway, uh, yeah, as for today's video, um, I thought I would do a plant, a house plant tour. But yeah, I've been putting it off for quite some time, simply because the video gets to be so long, so long. But I've seen with so many YouTubers, lately they do their plant house tour in parts. So I'm going to do the same. I think it's a great idea because then it cuts your time short <laughs> so i like that so i'm going to do i'm going to do it in parts uh so today to be part one focusing on a certain section of the house and the next time i'll focus on another section of the house and so on and so on until i've completed the entire house so today's video will be called house plant tour part one <laughs> yeah so um Today we are focusing, uh, we going, I'm going to take you through my family corner slash music room and show you the plants I have there. And yeah, so let's get right into it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm looking forward to your comments. I'm looking forward to hear what are your thoughts? What do you think of the plants I have in here? And uh, yeah enjoy it i'm gonna flip this camera around and show you what i've got going on in here Alrighty, i'm going to start right here i've got this pilia uh, depressor i love this plant it's a trailing plant it has grown so much for the time i've had it and it's doing absolutely well it's getting low light um, at the spot where it's sitting and it's very happy and up here i've got my asparagus fan it's also doing very well i've recently just <laughs> put it on this um trellis so yeah it's 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 doing very well and down here same shelf i've got this pilia this one it's called it's still in its nursery pot it's Pilia uh, rotundifolia. I love this plant. I think it's beautiful. It's doing very well. And uh, moving to the next shelf, I got this from, it was a plant swap from Charlotte. It's a philodendron. It's doing very well and it has grown a lot. Look at that. I love how it's growing along the wall. It has grown a lot. I'm not quite sure of the name. I don't know. I need to be sure. I need to check uh, the name. If you know the name, please let me know. But I know it's a philodendron. And next to it, I just need to chop this off. But this is my elephant ears. They are doing very well. I harvested these plants out outside. There were little pups and I took them and I planted them indoors. And next to it, I've got this beautiful baby Monstera plant, uh, Monstera Deliciosa. It has grown so much. It has grown so much. It's doing very well. And I hope the lighting won't be so bad. Here I've got my Philodendron Brazil. It's also doing very well. It's loving the light it gets here. It gets morning sun and bright light bright light throughout the day and uh this one is is philodendron sweetheart heart-shaped leaf it's also doing very well um and here in the middle i've got a uh, peperomia rotondifoli yeah i love this plant it's doing very well it gets morning sun and bright light throughout the day and right here, I've got my ficus, variegated ficus. It's also doing very well. It's never giving me any issues. It gets morning sun and bright light throughout the day. And up on my wall, I've got my 
uh, cuttings, my golden pothos cuttings that are doing very well. Yeah, I'm happy with them there. They've grown so much. And here I've got my Peperomia Amigo Marcelo. It's also doing very well. It's loving the spot where it is. I'm not planning to move it anytime soon. And I've got this shelf. This still plant shelf. On it I've got my... We can start here. I've got my... I've got my Chinese evergreen. That is, it's doing absolutely well. Absolutely well, no issues. And next to it, this is paint. <laughs> yeah, that's paint. Next to it, I've got my elephant's ears. They've grown so much. I mean, I've harvested these outside. There were still little pups when I brought them in. And look how big they've gotten. And there's another one. And next to them, I've got this... Um, Arrowhead plant is also doing very well, and this is my Dracaena is also doing very well, and in uh, on the middle shelf, I've got my uh, baby rubber plant is also doing very well. I mean, look at that new shoot! Ah. <laughs> awesome stuff, and this is my propagation. Um, I propagated this. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, anthurium long time ago and is doing very well it's continued to give him to give me new growth and next to it i've got my another arrowhead plant it's also doing very well and then there is my umbrella plant it's also doing very well and here is my my pilia it's also doing very well i need to water it and down here, I've got my, this is my propagation, my different bakia propagation. It has had, it has held well. It rooted well. Uh, I propagated in water. I propagated it in water. And then I transplanted it into soil not long ago. I did a video on it. And look how beautiful it's doing. Um, that's new growth. And that's new growth. So, um, yeah, it's doing absolutely well. And next to it is, again, one of my elephant ears um, uh, plants. And this is also my propagation. This is uh, Imperial Red. This is Philodendron Imperial. Uh, M uh, no, no. Philodendron Emerald Red. No, Imperial Red. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, it's doing very well. I propagated this in water. I took cuttings from the plant I had and I propagated it in water and they all held so well. And not a while ago, I transplanted it into soil. Look at that new growth. This is new growth. This is new growth. So it's doing absolutely well. So that's what I have on that shelf. And next to it, I've got my fiddle leaf fig plant and it's doing very well and i've got this uh philodendron pink princess it's also doing well well i'm not getting much of a pink variegation but i'm okay with the plant i love the foliage and then i've got this lemon lime philodendron it's also doing very well is that it has grown so much it has grown so much i love the look and uh, up here on this wall i've got my this is my Hoya Canosa, and it's doing very well. Look at that growth that is coming in. It's doing absolutely well. It has grown so much. It has grown so much. And next to it is a variegated one. I mean, look at that. It is also doing absolutely well. It's enjoying the bright light it's getting from this window here. So yeah, excuse my windows, it's been raining, so I haven't washed my windows yet. But yeah, it's it's doing absolutely well. And on this windowsill, I've got my succulents. These are my succulents. Um, I need to turn this one. It's going towards the... Ow! Let me just do this. That it can grow towards the sun. So yeah, there we go. I've got this I got this cutting from Charlotte and it has grown so much. 
so yeah there we go look at this one <laughs> keeps on going and going and going and even this uh, cactus i got it from charlotte and he's doing very well i love how this one is growing this succulent <laughs> i love it i love it i do i really love it so yeah that's what i have on this windowsill and when we take uh when we go around the corner i got this from my sister-in-law i really don't know um the name of most of my succulents to be very honest but um yeah one of these days i'm sure <laughs> i will get to know them but i'm not much bothered about that really but i love my succulents i must be honest the, and i've got this sedum it's also doing well it has grown so much and down here this is my ficus bonsai it's also doing very well and next to it i got this from a friend of mine um it's a oh, what's wrong with you it's drying out i need to check the soil and see if i don't need to water it but this is a speck bloom yeah it's doing very well it has grown so much so yeah I was just removing these leaves off it. Just throw them away. Um, and then I did this. Uh, uh, what is this? I did this terrarium a while, not so long ago. And look, look, look at that. It has grown so much. It has grown so much, you know. And um, this is, uh, what is this? well it's a string of it's, it's a string of something you know it doesn't look like bananas it doesn't look like pearls definitely not dolphins but i don't know what it is i don't know if it's tears maybe it is tears string of tears maybe i've recently chopped it and i'm propagating what i chopped in water because i want to fill up this little pot with it i got that from my sister-in-law and this is also doing very well, just in Siberia. And then this is my other spec boom, which are which I took cuttings from my neighbor. And this also I got from my sister-in-law. It's a cactus. Look at that. It's doing very well. This I also got from my sister-in-law. Look at that. Look at those tiny little ones that are coming up. Yeah, it's doing very well. They were smaller than this when I got it from my sister-in-law. And this is my olive bonsai. I need to water it. It's dry. And this is my ponytail palm. And next to it there is my what, uh, what I propagated. The, the fiddle leaf fig I propagated is doing very well. Next to it is the olive. Ah, no, 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 no. It's a aloe vera succulent and there's there's my jade and there's my other sense of area I propagated that i propagated that i did a video on that recently and that's my panda ears it has lost this variegation i don't know what i'm doing wrong i've got two of those i had three i gave one to my sister-in-law so yeah it has lost its variegation i don't know what i'm doing wrong but anyway um there's my other succulent and yeah this table is mostly succulents this table is mostly succulents and in here i've got my marantha i almost lost this plant but i'm glad i'm happy to say I'm, i was able to save it so I, I keep it in there for humidity and yeah there's my other uh, succulent terrarium and it's doing absolutely well it has grown so much and there's my other succulent so like i say here is mostly succulents and that's jade i propagated this from a leaf and look how grown they are in here i've got my string of hearts yeah it's a propagation <laughs> i must say it's doing absolutely well at some point it was struggling and ever since I decided to put a glass over it for extra humidity, it's actually doing absolutely well. It has bounced back. 
and I was forgetting. I almost forgot this. Um, I almost forgot this uh, Chinese evergreen. Um, I propagated this. I, it started off with these two leaves. So these two leaves are old and the rest of this is new growth and is doing absolutely well. And up here, I've got my golden pothos. It's also doing very well. I love this golden pothos. I love it. It's doing absolutely well. Absolutely well. So, yeah, that's all I have for today. It's been fun. I'm looking forward to your comments. Yeah, I want to hear what you make of the plants I have in this room. Like I said, this is our family room. It's our family corner slash music room. It's where we get down and play. It's where we sit and read. It's where we play our music. Um, yeah, it's where we play our music. So, yeah, it's been fun. I'm looking forward to your comments. Um, yeah, what do you make of the plants I have in my family corner slash music room? So, it's been fun. Have yourself a beautiful day, Feather. Looking forward to your comments. <laughs> Bye.